Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today I'm going to do a Timu haul. Uh, this is my first order from this company. Uh, I've never ordered before. So this will be my first. I've opened a lot of it and set it to the side. Um, I know a lot of people don't like hearing the crinkling, so I've tried to eliminate some of that. So let me move this out of the way and we can get started. Okay, first thing is I bought this beautiful flower trim. Isn't that pretty? And I've got my camera set a little closer so you can see everything. So there's that. Then I bought this purple and white. And I've got a pink and white as well. And this, I was hoping it would be smaller, the flowers itself, because I like the little small pattern one that I have already. But this will work. It's still pretty. And I got that one as well. And... Then I bought this, and I've been working on a journal, and this is, some of this is going to be added in my journal, now that I've got it. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? The purple and the gold. I got it in this color, and in straight white. the glare is there we go so there's those two and then I bought this purple trim it's just a little small light purple trim and then I got two bags of these little mini hinges and I've noticed that one of the screws has already come out of one of the bags and I'm not really sure which one but they're just a little mini hinges for like boxes or you know whatever you need to put them on let me open one up and show you a little closer here we go just little hinges nothing Significant. Okay, there's that. And I found this, and I love owls. And I have stuffed animal owls in my room. Uh, different people have sent me owl things. But isn't that pretty? In full flight. I love that and then I bought this ring it's sterling silver 9.25 there it is and I bought it for a thumb ring so that'll be there Kind of thing. things scattered all over the place and here's this there's another ring and you really can't make it out but it's it's uh, flowers and dragonflies all over it and it's a thumb ring. So, there's that. <sighs> and then I bought one of these. And I will probably buy another one as well. They are the um, 
little blades. Oops, get over here where you can see. They're the little mini blades. Say you need to, I don't know, really get into, okay. Say you did a die and something didn't cut out like one of these little windows and you really needed to get in here to cut it out. This right here is going to get you in there to get it done. And they work pretty good. I've already been playing with this one. So I'm going to be ordering another one. And I will have to put this with my blades so that nobody picks it up thinking it's a pen. Because <laughs> that will be exactly what will happen. Okay. Oh, and I got... Oh, here's the other bag of those. Put those together so I can get them put up. Then I got these. Uh, they're like... They're... Um, oh, what do you call it? Um, vellum. Print, prints on them. I got that one, and then this one's the same way. It's just different things on them. So this is more like printouts and receipts, advertisements for, uh, say, like ground spice in bulk. Daily ledgers. And I use that in my journals. Then I got this. It is a washi tape, but it looks like it has the burnt edges. This one has the butterflies and uh, a background to it, and it comes on a roll. And I will probably get another one because it's not a lot there. But for, I think it was like 68 cents, something like that, it wasn't a bad price for what I was. And I bought two of those, but this one's different. See, this one's like business papers and, that's, and stuff like that. So there's that. Then I got a silicone mat to do my uh, wax melts on. Um, I've never um, done a, I've done a few wax melts, but I, you know I only got one or two of the little metal pieces. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Let's get some things together. And I even bought the markers that you highlight with them and it makes it stand out like that. See how the, and that one was done with a different marker so it's not used with one of these. I will do one later with that in it. Then I got this one. It's an owl. Let's see if I can get it to show. And it says delivered by Al Postage. Post. And I figured with, you know, me being the owl person, that just kind of would be, I don't know, kind of my symbol for things that I send to people and then I got this one and all it is is a flat um, say um, you're wanting to um, put flowers or ribbon or something like that in your wax melt and they say that that's what that's for is to just set on top of it and it pushes that into your wax melt. 
so I got one. Then I found this, which I was very pleased with. It comes with five. This one is a bow. Comes with five heads and one handle. For I think it was like three ninety five. And this is a rose. This one is a heart. This one is a dog paw. And this one is a snowflake. And I thought for three ninety five that was pretty reasonable because this one was three something with the handle. Uh, you know, the heads of these things are expensive. And even with the little box, it gives you all the if you decide you don't want to use this in the box, it gives you the pieces that go in here. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And that's another way of keeping it together. But eventually, I will probably find me a box to put it all in. That way, I can keep it all together. And not have to hunt for handles or pieces. So, let me move this over here. Then, let's see. I ordered these and thought I had ordered the book that went with it. And I didn't get the book. So, I have another order that I'm ordering two of the books. And I have a certain little plan for these here, and I will be showing you what I'm going to do with these. And you can tell me whether you think it's a good idea or a bad idea. That's going to be the bigger question. So keep your eye out for the post on that. Then, let's see. I... Got these stickers, and see, this is part of my plan. I want to be able to take these stickers like this and put them in pockets like this when it, that, that will fit. And use these as storage to where it will be easier to find what you're looking for. So, so I'm going to see if I can find some bigger ones where they're uh, like half sheets of these. Because these would have to go in here like this. Because they're too long. I mean, the biggest majority of them would go in there. But your longer ones would have to have a, a bigger sheet. I'll give you a view of these. Do, 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 do. That'd be easier this way. No, it's the light above. But you get flowers. Leaves, more flowers, so that's the gist of that. But that's what I want to use those for and be able to put them all in a book and have them close to, you know, all my journaling stuff. Because I can use them for journaling, I can use them for just everyday crafts, but I want them closer and know exactly where they're at when I want to um, use them. So I figure if I come up with a um, way to do that and a good storage, 
Um, and then I guess somewhere down the line, I ended up buying two of these. I, that's something I have to watch. I was checking my list for things that I'm fixing to order now, and I had a few things that I had already purchased in that list. So, but these are apple blossoms. So I got those. And then I got this set of beautiful purple flowers. It's all different kinds of purple flowers, mushrooms, you name it, is in here. Yeah, mushrooms, flowers. The biggest majority of them are flowers. There's a few mushrooms. And then I got this set in the blue. Isn't that pretty? And it's all flowers. Then I got this one in red. And it has quite a few mushroom uh, varieties in it. Strawberries, flowers, but that's what I want to put those in and I can separate them. I can put the red mushrooms with, you know, all together and things like that. That way I can get them separated and I can see what I've got. Then I bought this, and I am really impressed with these. Let me get it open. Isn't that pretty? There's two sheets and they just well definite there we go. They just peel off like that. Boy they got a good sticky to them. So there's that. Let me stick those back in there. So I don't lose those. Okay. Now, let's see. What else do I got over here? Oh, I found these little pink windows with the backgrounds. Okay, well, like I was saying, I found these little, um, it says windowsill garden. Um, they look like little windows, and they're clear, so you could put an image behind it and make it look like they're looking out the window, and they're, see, all different kinds of windows. Not pretty. And not a window one is the same in here. They're all different. And then the last one. So I got those for some some ideas that I've got because I got some beautiful women uh, images that I would like you know where they look like they're peeking out a window or whatever and okay then I got these uh, there you go you can see some of the gold coming in and I have it they are beautiful 
And I think they're on like sticker sheets. Let me see. Yes, they are. Which makes it easier to show. Okay. There's that one. Let me tilt it so I can take the glare off of it. Isn't that pretty? And then you can see the gold. I'll be buying more of those. I love that. It's just pretty, 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 pretty. And there's that. There's three sheets. Of each one. And I got them in the blue, purple, and then a butterfly mix. That's the purple. Oop, nope, nope, nope. There was another set. Now look here. These are wordings. It says sunshine and flowers are missing you. Everyone has flowers in his heart. I mean, all kinds of different little sayings. That's cool. I'm glad I... <laughs> Oh, I almost missed that. So there's that one. And I'm going to show the butterfly one. Then we'll do the pink ones real quick. And we got plenty of time. Come on. They're way down in the bag. Okay, I'm going to start off with this first. And it just looks like it's the same one. Yep, it's it, this all says the same thing as that one did. So there's that. And you get them in blue. Isn't that pretty? And you get them in purple. And the yellows and oranges. Isn't that pretty? I am so pleased with these. I'm glad I got them. And like I said, more than likely I will buy more. I'll show you the last set real quick. And then we got a few uh, bigger items. I put the sticker over the pole there. Okay. Okay. Set this over here. Let's see. Okay, this one didn't come with no wordings. It's just the isn't that pretty? Soft pinks. And you tilt it just right. And you see the gold in and around the the petals. So there's that one. And here's this one. See the gold? And then one last one. It's got a couple of butterflies amongst in it. So there's that. Very, very, very pretty. So let me move this out of the way. Get them with the other stickers. Then I have some dies that I ordered and then some uh, some dies and some stamp sets okay we'll do the dies first and then I'll do the stamp sets this is an owl I'm 
I'm gonna make up a bunch of these and whenever I mail out happy mails and stuff like that you can make it either a male or a little girl but this is gonna be I'm gonna use it as my trademark uh, for sending out things to friends and happy mails um, and stuff like that and then I found this one let me turn it over and it is a couple of houses and some geese and some mushrooms and grass and a doorway and that so I'm really excited on playing with these it's been a while since I've had my die cut machine out but now I got it set up where I can play with it and then this one is just a big mushroom it's like a fairy house mushroom and as much as I do the fairies that will come in handy and then this one is I'm going to be doing a bee journal and this is going to come in handy for my bee journal it's got bees it's got honey dripping honey honeycomb the uh, honey pot with the honey, basically the honey spoon that they use. And I got another bee coming that I've ordered, but you can see as it comes in. But there's that. And then on the stamps, I found this one. which dragonflies I like dragonflies in here let me turn this one over so you can see it a couple of these I gotta turn over oh there it is so there's that one that's a fairy one like I said I do the fairies so there's that here's another fairy one I like to get them where they're feather away close up that way you can use them in different uh, ways so there's that and then I found this sentiment one sentiment says thank you just for you uh, time to celebrate happy birthday just a note uh, belayed birthday wishes heartfelt thanks be best wishes with sympathy congratulations and new home so that way whenever I do cards I've got some you know some sentiments to put on my cards that I make okay so there's that we don't have much left we're getting to the bottom of this and I bought a pink uh, silicone mat uh, my daughter wanted one to put over in the paint section so we could put it down and if paint got on the table um, and it's bigger than this I mean it folds out as you can see but she was wanting one of these for the paint table I just told her she needed to quit being messy <laughs> so, and 
Oh, neat. It's got the gold. And there on the uh, vellum paper as well. So there's that. It says it, the time it, the time I kill is the, t it's killing me. Okay. And there's that one. And you can see the gold in it. And then here's this one. P.S. I love you. Master, okay. Oh, now look at that one. Living in my own little world. And then, is it starting over? Yep. Oh, it's in regular paper now. Cool. So you get both. Okay, here's some different ones. Oh, now I like that. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. So those will come in handy with a lot of crafting things. So there's that. And then I got this book and it had this vellum belly band wrapped around it like this. And I was very careful about not destroying the belly band because I figured, you know, you can always use it in a project. So that's what I did. Okay, so you have two images of each. So there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. And these are like $3.95, which is not bad. And then there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. There's that page. Then there's that page. Sorry for the runny nose today. My allergies are just flared up to no end. And I blow and I blow and I blow and I get nothing out. But whenever I don't, it just runs. These are so pretty. Oh, now see, I'll save this one for my B page or my B book. I've been setting everything aside that's got bees on it to my, because I can make a journaling card out of it, a tag, uh, a pocket. So, this would have gone good with the kit that I was just working with. Here's some more different bees. Was that page stuck together? Yeah, okay. Okay, and then there's that page. There's that page. There's that page. I'm doing this so you can see what you're getting. Because the little bitty images, they look just like this on the book, on the, on the advertisement. So you can't really see it. So... That's why I'm showing you that way if you're interested in it. If you decide you want to order it, 
you order it. I know I'm not getting any feedback or kickback from this company. Like I said, this is the very first time I've ordered. But I've seen a lot of people do the uh, hauls for this. And they don't show the books. They just kind of thumb through it. And it's like, what is he? You know, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So there's that page. This one's pretty. Yep. Now that one's pretty too. That one would be good for Easter. Okay. There's that. And you see I'm folding them over. And it's not breaking the spine. So they've got a really good glue spine on them. So there's that page. Let me slide it up a little better. There's a little teacup with a bird sitting on it. I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. You could cut this teacup out and use it in a complete different project. So... There's that page. There's that page. There's that page. There's that page. And there's that one. There's that page. This goes a lot with your mixed media, if you'll, because it's got the music sheets, the 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 honeycomb, the butterflies, you know, different colors of splatted paint. So, and these are collages, basically. So. For those that don't know all of the that's pretty. And then there's that one. It says welcome sunshine. There's that. See you could take this one. Cut this image out here and put another image in place of it and use these as two different pieces. More butterflies. Almost to the end. There's that. There's that. There's that one. Let me move my fingers just in case you didn't get a good look at that one. There's that one. It's a bird of paradise. Beautiful plant. There's another bird of paradise. Okay, and I think we're to the last two pages. Yes. Okay, so that's all of that one. Then, let's see, I bought this. And it's washi tape. Um, I have a lot of plain Jane washi tape, but nothing like this. And I will probably keep this book, this box cover. Because it can be used as ephemera. Uh, it's that cardboard could be made with pockets. I mean, all you gotta do is get rid of a few little things and you could use it for a lot of things. But here is the washi tape. And it's, uh, I wanna say transparency. Where you can 
see through it. Yes, so you can put it on a background. And you could somewhat see through it. So there's that one. Oops. And there's that one. You could cut out individual things out of this and use it that way. And then you got this one. And you got this one. I see this one's got a lot of the gold in it too. And then you have some smaller thin pieces. And then you have this one, which is nothing but all flowers and butterflies. There we go. I ain't get a kind of a better. This one's got some gold in it. Let me turn the light back on. See the. And then two more small washies and then those are just a bunch of random ones so that gives you a good idea of what it looks like There's that, and the last thing that I've got, let me make sure that is the last thing. Yes, it is. And I ordered this because of the owl. It's an, it's an actual owl puzzle. And it's a wood puzzle. And the puzzle pieces are all in different shapes. This is what it's going to look like whenever it's done. But they're in different shapes. See this in here? See, it's already a... That one's a, a dragonfly. Let me turn it over. That one's a dragonfly. This one's a cow. Uh, I thought I seen a unicorn a while ago. There's a lizard or a turtle. There's a goat. So yeah, this is going to be very interesting and in putting together. And I can't wait to put it together. See, there's a bird. There's a rabbit. There's a butterfly. Um... It's either a dog or a cat. And there's a squirrel. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. And I'm going to put it together. And it will be sealed. Once it's done. And it'll be mounted here in my room someplace. I want to get the, the diamond one similar to this. But now that I got this one, I don't want the exact pattern. I want to find a different one in the diamond pattern and try my hands at the diamond patterns. So, I don't know if I will actually do this as a live project or bits and pieces as we go. So, only time will tell. Uh, my daughter, there's a donkey. 
my daughter I'm sure is going to want to help put this together we love doing puzzles around here um, I'll have to show you I have a bunch and I know a lot of people are going to say I'm weird but I do Native American uh, puzzles and I just recently got all of my Native American puzzles hung up in my bedroom. The, uh, it's part of my history. Uh, I'm part Choctaw, very proud to be Choctaw Native. And um, so I, any uh, Native American puzzles that I find, I buy and I've got so many put up right now that's not even funny and you know what I've gone back to and um, the ones that I've got put up I'm glad I got when I did because I can't find them anymore so and the box alone very nice sturdy box this could be used for all kinds of crafts after the fact so but that is it with my haul if you like my video hit the like and subscribe and i hope everyone has a happy and blessed day thank you